Just a little update on the kitchen remodel project. It's ready for cabinets and the cabinets are gonna start going in tomorrow. So we'll do a little walkthrough here and show you everything that I prepped. I have one cabinet that I pulled out because I just wanted to take a look at it. I've been working on a lot of ductwork stuff, pulling this duct out of the wall, giving it an extension because there will be the double wall oven cabinet going under there. And I have to have the uh, vent come out of the kick plate. All my wiring is done for the under the cabinet lighting and the above cabinet lighting. Well, that's gonna be an in cabinet lighting. I went over the entire drywall with a uh, primer just to seal it. And then I labeled everywhere where there should be no nails, like all this blue tape, that's the drain pipe going to the vent and another drain line coming down. Coming around here, there's more under the cabinet lighting and above cabinet lighting. There's gonna be glass cabinets up there. Here's some more duct work that I had to do. Remember there was a half wall, now that the plastic's down, you could see everything going into the family room. There was a half wall coming across and a lot of wires coming through the half wall. So I left one wire that's gonna feed the new sitting bar area and we'll put a couple outlets in there. One vent will go underneath the cabinets into the family room. The other one will come right out the front face of the cabinet there into the kitchen. There was a lot of wires coming through the knee wall so I had to bust up the drywall in here to uh, snake some stuff down into the basement where I'll make the connections. I haven't got around to that yet and I still need to put a piece of drywall there but I had to keep it open while I was doing some of that electrical work. So here it is, ready to go. The first cabinet should start going in tomorrow. And we'll give it an update when that comes along. The cabinets started going in. They uh, got unpacked and they started getting installed and they're looking really, really good. But as with any project, it does have its pitfalls. And this is a big one. So I was following plans. We had so many plans drawn up going back and forth about the arrangement of things and the ones that I signed off on and got the final blueprints on apparently got altered and there was some miscommunication and I don't know if you see the problem here, but the miscommunication was this skinny little nine inch cabinet here wasn't on the blueprints that I was following. So when I calculated for the center of the uh, range top and where to place the hood, I'm off by nine inches. So there's a couple solutions, but the only one that's going to make me happy is to have the arrangement the way it is. So cabinets are coming back out tonight. I got to open up this wall. If you recall from my last video, which if you did not see the plumbing video, there's two copper pipes there where the blue tape is. I had to offset them for what I thought was the center. They have to now get offset even further. So that wall has to get opened up again. Pipes need to once again get moved and uh, vent needs to be recentered. So this is gonna be at least a week delay. Tonight's Thursday and uh, I'm gonna start taking things apart and this weekend I'll hopefully have the move and we could get back to installing the cabinets next week. So that is the update. Unfortunately, no good news. I'll give you the uh, little rundown of what the rest of it looks like. This is the opening for the refrigerator. That's my wall pantry. The opening there is where the double oven's gonna go. And of course, a little desk nook that'll have a couple more cabinets up there. And then if we spin around, I took all the plastic down and that's looking into the family room. Step one, cabinets are out of the way. And start tearing into the drywall. And the walls open back up. To give you an idea how much this is off. Yeah. 
There's my old center. There's my new center. That mark right there. So it's opened up. It's uh, ready to be moved over. That'll be another day. I'm going to bed. Okay, the waterline pipes have been moved to accommodate the proper layout of the kitchen for the third and last time. So here's what I did. I took the existing elbows that were on there, I left them. I just used some shark bite. I needed nine inches of clearance because that's how much I was off by. I cut a couple ten and a half pieces, which was enough to bring these lines right to this side of the stud bay. And I moved that stud over. Then I extended the vent. I actually used the elbow that was in there and just, you know, it twists and turns in so many different ways that I got it to come out. And that is now coming out of the wall perfectly straight at a 90 degree angle. We'll have to move the outlet. Oh, I did move the pot filler. It's actually on a better board now than it was last time. Now it's on this uh, uh, one by three, I guess you call it, uh, rather than a two by four. Uh, so it'll fit a little bit better uh, with the finished product. And that's it. I'm gonna drywall it up, get everything taped and get back to the project at hand. Well, there's the wall of death all back together and everything is in its proper place now. The vent has been moved over. There's a wire sticking out there that'll be the plug for the vent. The pot filler is moved over and the plug down at the bottom. It's been taped and spackled, needs one last sanding. I'll hit it with a primer and then we'll get these cabinets back in place. So the next video will be of the cabinets installed. Stay tuned.